evening guys it's Joff from Mo Hotel Adventures and I've just wanted to rip a little video about this little baby up here it's the Trumer control panel and whilst recently on a little when we were away on our little trip um, in Germany uh, I don't I think what happened, um, I was getting into the rhythm, you get into the rhythm of uh, we use our gas, we turn off the bottle when we leave in the, um, so we don't travel with our gas on and uh, I think what happened, I might have had the hot water on, um, I don't think the heater was on at the time, it was just the hot water was on, so um, I'd forgotten, I'd, I'd, I'd normally switch everything off, unusual, a uh, go, lot going on, so I must have gone and turned off the gas bottle, and uh, that was the end, so that was the end of that scenario. Later on in the day, um, when we got into the evening, where we parked up again, I went to um, put, either put the heating on, put the hot water back on again, ah, error code. So I was kind of like, Damn. <laughs> so it was just an easy little um, slip up. Uh, the error code came up. Um, the for, it was five one seven H, uh, an error code that arises uh, E five one seven H. So occasionally um, you can just select. There's a little triangle that comes up on the bottom with the warnings, and you can select that and clear the fault. Um, and uh, I tried doing that and it, uh, for some reason, it didn't clear the fault. So further afield, um, so occasionally you have to let it go for 15 minutes, um, let it go for 15 minutes and then try again. Uh, but I was just getting the error code coming up. So it was further investigation time, which is, which the one I wanted to show you guys is the little tiny reset button on the Trumer heating unit the boiler unit so i'm going to show you guys where it is on this vehicle right so the unit is located under this little seat in the front lounge area in the 690g so we're going to have to uh, move some furnishings to start with so this vehicle has got a um removable section at the back there uh, in, in fact, let me just pull that one off first. That's the uh, little L-shape lounge cushion. So we'll just slip that over into the uh, the driver's area across the seats, and then that, then I can proceed to remove the back, and we'll uh, put that over in the same position. So that starts gaining us access. Um, the next little uh, piece to remove is this little cushion here, and uh, so we'll plonk that out the way as well so uh, it's given you uh, someone did inquire the other day actually what um, what we keep under the little uh, place under there which we've got our little power bank under there so the last one to remove oh hang on two minutes let's just remove there's a little clip on the back of here you just got to pull this little clip off like that there's a little clip that goes on that that rail there um, let me just get some more lighting on the subject here so that's a little bit better so there's a little tiny rail and that clip literally clips onto there without too much problem this is the location of our um, passenger seat belts just for the uh, the record and uh, Anybody that's interested as well, uh, while we're in here, this is where the, the, the camper board um, bolts go down through. So it's all uh, totally removable, that panel. Uh, right, okay, let's, um, let's crack on with the job in hand anyway before we get too distracted, as I normally do. And now, so all we've got left is this little panel here, which uh, it just clips in, it's pretty straightforward. Just remove that panel, it's got that little foldable leg. So we'll just collapse that one down underneath. Let's just put that, there's that little foldable panel. And then that gives us access right across here, which this here now, um, I might just have to watch them seat belt. Let's just pull them up out of the way. Yeah, so I've just took the, took the, um, tucked the seat belts out of the way, so we're just going to flip that over now. So we're gaining access now to the boiler, and then just one last manoeuvre, just them boards there go up against the wall. So then you've got full access into the 
heater unit, the boiler, um, which you can see all the blown air pipes, all the trunk in, and um, yeah, so the reset button is under this little panel. So I'm just going to show you guys, there's the water tank and there's the EHU hookup lead. And uh, you can see through there the little door on the side of this, uh, this uh, camper. Right, so all we've got to do now is um, there's a, a cover. And uh, on the other side of this cover, it literally shows you open. So that just pulls up, it just unclips. There you go, like that. So it's pretty simple. So with that cover now removed, you can see all the wires on the printed circuit board of the unit. Now then, the little reset button, I'm gonna do my very best, because it's pretty small to be honest. So if you just look down between them two wires, there it is, there. It's a little brown button that just needs pushing in to reset the boiler. Let me just see if I can get a better angle on that. So there is the little button. I'm just gonna point it out again with the end of my pen, right on the nib, there's the little button. So I'm just putting this video out there because obviously, if you do get this problem, and uh, we just wanted to show you guys exactly where that little button is to try and uh, cut down on any unnecessary fumbling around. And uh, yeah, there we go. And uh, yeah, the situ you know, like I say, the situation soon got sorted for us pretty pronto by just knowing where that button is located. So there's the uh, cover that just like places back on the top and there it's literally just a push up on that on that cover just unclips from that little there simple as that in fact they there's a couple of little desk locators there that go on the top there we go hang on let me just <laughs> it's basically it's a little bit of a it's a it's all plastic so there's these little tiny uh, lugs that um have to locate but uh there we go, just snap it into place. That's pretty good. That's it, there it is. So it's all uh, back in position. So there we go. There's all the, um, the, the unit, the plate for the unit. And uh, what I'm gonna do on this video, I'm gonna um, put in some pictures at the end of the video of the fault codes that um, do arise so it's always there for reference. I find uh, occasionally it's just nice to have that logged um, at a reference point. So we're just gonna put this video into Motorhome Solutions. So if you ever get um, any problems, you can refer back to the list um, on uh, YouTube. And uh, we'll, I'll, I'll sort of tag it, I think I'm going to tag in the, maybe the um, instructions as well. I might tag that on in the end of the video as well for the, um, the Truma control panel and uh, a few bits and pieces at the end. So um, I hope guys that might have just uh, clarified, you know, if you watch our YouTube channel and uh, follow um, and obviously this is the Bursner, so um, all you need to do is it's a good idea to find the location of your Truma if you've got this, um, this type and just familiarize yourself um, how to access it because when you've got things in here when you're on your holidays you're doing a trip um, the last thing you want to be doing is trying to work out um, where your your boiler is what you got to remove but you can just see how simple that is to access right i'm going to leave it there thanks for watching the video guys i hope you've uh, um, enjoyed this little video and uh, it li literally is one of them reference videos um, that we like to put out there and like i say this situation occurred to me and uh that's it. Here we go then. We'll tag on the information at the end. Thanks for watching.